Aries, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Aries, I've been meditating on it and uh, I was thinking about you and all that Aries-y stuff you get going on. I was closing my eyes, I was thinking about Aries and a song came into my head. Uh, so wild and free, so far from me You're all I want, my fantasy And then it kind of uh, Kind of went from there to like Wild and untamable. This is, this is Someone who's wild and untamable. Is that you? Or is that them? Should we have a look? Wild and Untamable for Aries. That song is Photograph by Death Weapon. I don't want you. I don't need you. All I've got is a photograph. Told you. Bear in mind, my love, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. That's the only legit way of getting a private reading from me is if you go to gentvtarot.com. The link is in the description box below. Any other way, if I'm coming to you, I'm in your emails, I'm in your DMs, I'm down there in the comments that's not me that's someone trying to scam me my loves don't fall for it you got to come to me aries wild and untamable tell me more This is your fantasy person. This is uh, this is your nine of cups. Even though I don't actually have the nine of cups here. This is your the one you're sort of like. If I could have a person, it would be this one. They're like the sunrise when you see them. It's like you see them when birds start singing. Or. You're like a flower and they're the sunrise and you angle your face to where they are so you can feel their light. That's kind of what I'm getting from this person for you. And uh, that's some pretty big feelings there. You know you put this person way up on a pedestal, right? They're wild and untamable. You're trying to, you want to, you want them to love you, but... It's nature, isn't it? Let's have a look, shall we? So why is the six of wands here? This is victory. Tell me more about this. I don't know, I sort of feel when you put someone on a pedestal they're just going to knock themselves off it at some point. Can't really put anyone on a pedestal. There's a darker side to everyone, even the best of us. Um... Yeah, there's there's things in the, there's something in the way. There's there's a there's a something an obstacle in the way of this relationship and it's making you overly emotional, quite hyped, quite uh frantic is sort of what I want to say. Because, I don't know, it's it's sort of like, this is your person, this is, uh, 
very much got this person on a pedestal and I sort of feel like everyone sort of looks at this person in this way. They're a kind of, they're a sort of person that lights up the room when they walk in. And, uh, see Gary. Gary lights up the room when he walks in. No, the door's open. You want to come in the window? Cats, honestly. He likes to show off. So we let him. Oh, we'll let him in. I'll tell you. Anyway. I'll keep keep on going. The door is open, Gary. Look at him. <laughs> oh, wait. Come on, then. Come on. I'm gonna jump on my chair. You coming down? I'm I'm working here. You come land on me. Land on me. There. Anyway, I'm gonna have to close the window now. Yeah, this person lights up the room completely. Everyone kind of falls in love with them. Um, I sort of see that uh, they get a lot of attention and this is part of the part of the obstacles part of the uh, way it makes you feel overly emotional there's something though why is the hero found in reverse here There's something they're not articulating to you. Something they've sort of brushed off that's actually far more serious than they've uh, I guess articulated to you is what I, how I should say it. I think that there's somebody in their life that's more important than they're letting on. I think maybe they might have mentioned that they were dating somebody or something like that. Oh, it's, we're just seeing somebody. It's actually far more important than that. And it's almost like you know it. You can kind of feel it. I'm kind of seeing that the person that is in was already in their life, who is, oh, they are of no consequence, it's fine, that the situation with you, I'm getting, I'm getting my third chakra, that's why I do this, my third chakra doesn't, they don't want to talk to you about this, they, they've clammed up, if you will, but it's almost like this person is far more important. They may have mentioned this person to you, but in reality, what they have with you, they would just kind of look and see if the grass was greener with, with you from this person. And this is one of the obstacles and it's like, you know it and they're not being honest about it. This is the most attractive person you th you feel like right now. You're very physically attracted to this person. Very physically attracted to them. And in a way, I sort of feel like perhaps this has a lot to do with maybe the relationship that they're kind of trying to hide from you is that that's not as intimate as they would like it to be. Maybe not as exciting as they would like it to be. So I don't, I don't actually feel like they're not intimate with this person. I just sort of feel like it's hard to find uh, new ways of making it exciting. Is That's kind of what I'm seeing here. And uh, you kind of were some of the new excitement.
I feel like you might be falling in love with this person, but I don't think you'll ever really be able to have them, my love. I think that they are starting to feel something for you. The two of swords here, they're confused. I think they're starting to feel something for you, but... Uh, they are more emotionally attached to the other person. It would be harder for them to leave them, is what I'm seeing. What's coming up in the near future? A surprise! Tell me more. Hey, dear John, is what I've seen. You know those letters, or oh, dear Jane, dear John, look, I think you're amazing, you're clever, you're beautiful, you're funny, I am crazy about you, but I can't see you anymore. That's what, that's what's coming through. Um... I, I see them kind of not ghosting you, surprisingly. It's, it's quite nice in a way that they're actually going to be a grown-up about this and, and deal with what they're uncomfortable with, which is saying goodbye. It's, yeah, it's going to end. You're going to be all right, though. It's going to end pretty soon, I think, in the next... Um, possibly the longest you're going to have to wait is six weeks. Um, you're going to be all right, though. In a way, you feel like you're going to be all right because you, you kind of feel like... It's not entirely done. They'll be back. I can wait. What you don't know is, my loves, is that they're not coming back. They're, that, that's the end of it. It's over. So if you're going to be hanging around waiting for them, then you're going to be waiting a long time. Tell me more. No, no good cards have come out. Uh, I, I know that you, you know that they're unhappy in, in this connection to the point where you're like, well, they, they never really said it was that serious. They didn't talk about it in a way that it was that serious, though. So. But it, I think, you know, far more serious like they could be married they could be kids they could uh, you know it's a lot more serious than they made out and they're not over it they're not they haven't ended it yet they're going back to it they're not going to be happy and you know this so this is one of the reasons why you're hanging on saying well you know they'll be back but they won't why is the hangman in reverse here for the outcome about indecision or delays but... I think that there's this sort of feeling that you're always going to hold a flame for them they're probably always going to hold one for you oh hold on hold on guys apologies I had a delivery came through as a message so they're always going to hold a flame for you you're always going to hold a flame for them that's kind of where we're, we're going with this so as much as we get the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, that this is over for them, they're ending this relationship. They're going to think about you. And you're hoping that they're coming back. So let's take this into the extended. Where we're going to ask how this person feels about you. Where are you in their heart space? How do they see you? What are their intentions towards you? 
We will say to you and some guidance from the universe. And let us pull you some oracle cards for now. There we go. Believe in the impossible. Who knows what might happen, eh? I actually want to pull you one of these as well. Well, two of them. Let's separate it in the middle, see what happens. Aries, please. Wild and untamable. I think if you ever actually really got this person, you'd never really have them. That's the problem. They're wild and untamable, like I said. True love, express your love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Whatever that might be for you. And your love lyric. This person's kind of like, what's his name? In the bloody Brad Pitt. What's that film called? Is it like a river on Surrey or something? He's that kind of character. I can never really truly tame him, but he's beautiful and he's like the sunrise. He's, he's like, he's glorious. We never truly tame him. Do I want to know if this feeling flows the way sad to see go? That's uh, Do I Want to Know by the uh, Arctic Monkeys, but also photographed by Def Leppard for you. Um, I'm going to take this into extended. If you want to watch that, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Bye!